And what can k- kids learn about when they actually have to talk about this science project? What tips can you give them? Well, I remember on my first day, I was a little scared. I'm like, what are they going to do? I'm not a parent for this. And first, I, I didn't even, I, just, I didn't think you had to do this. I thought you just have a science project. Mm-hmm. You just do it, and then you tell them. And it's not that scary. It's not where you sit up in front of all the kids and the judges ask you. The, the judges come around to each person, and then they ask you, not where everybody's listening to what you said. So it's not And do they ask hard questions, or they really mainly ask one question? Well, they ask, they uh, ask you about four, three, four, five. Like what kind of questions? Like how did you do this experience? What are the results? These main experience, things. Experience, yeah. And and they look at it, and then when they're all done, they put numbers down on their little board, mm-hmm. and they they don't show it. But when you go back to school, about like three, four days later, it comes down. Plus, you get to be announced, the principal announces you um, on the speaker. That's what they did in your school. And you walk down to the principal's office and you take the little ticket. Wow. And you got a medal too, right? And there's my medal. Now, this wasn't my, this was just a medal that everybody got. It wasn't the winning medal. But here's a little thing to, a little fun fact. Even if you don't win, you always have fun. Don't get, don't cry or get sad or or hate your parents or any of that stuff. But just just be lucky that you were able to do all this. Because look how amazing this is. I mean, not every person can do all this. I mean, pictures. Yeah, you should be very proud of what you did. You always have fun, even if you don't win. And that's the best I can say.